The, uh, the Pences are in trouble again. They're in, they're in big trouble. Um, the left is shocked yet again to learn that the Pences are Christian. Mike Pence's wife, Karen, got a job at a private Christian school. And this has elicited many outraged headlines across the mainstream media and many shocked and appalled and frightened um, tweets and so on. Now, of course, the stated reason for the outrage is not that Karen Pence, a Christian, is working for Emanuel Christian School, a Christian school, but that it says it right there in the name in case you were confused. Um, that's not the reason that they're giving. The reason that they're, that they're giving is that the school bans openly gay teachers and does not admit openly gay students. Um, it also prohibits all other manner of sexual conduct that is considered immoral um, by Christian teaching, including premarital sex. D teachers are required at this school to affirm in writing the biblical position on all of these um, moral issues. So let's uh, let's just just uh, I'll, I'll take a f and it, it, we'll take a look at some of these headlines here. So BBC News: Vice President's wife Karen Pence to teach at anti-LGBT school. New York Times: Karen Pence is teaching at Christian school that bars LGBT students and teachers. New York Post: Mike Pence's wife back teaching at school that bans gay transgender students. Karen Pence takes teaching job at Christian school that bars LGBTQ students. There is no difference between attacking Karen Pence for working at a Christian school and attacking Karen Pence for working at a school that prohibits um, behavior contrary to Christian teaching because any legitimate Christian school will do exactly that because that's what it means to be a Christian. That's why we call it a Christian school, as in there's going to be Christian stuff going on here. This is a school for Christians, uh, by Christians, to Christians. And this is part of what it means to be a Christian, okay? That's, that's what it means. This is what every authentic and credible Christian school ought to do and does do. So this is not, by far not the only Christian school that requires a pledge of this sort. They all should. And here's the thing. The, the, there are plenty of Christian schools who do not require these kinds of pledges and do not have these, these uh, qualifications and will hire teachers who are categorically opposed to Christian teaching and will, and will admit students who have no interest in Christian teaching whatsoever. But do you know what happens with those schools? They end up very quickly not being Christian schools anymore. What they end up being is just very expensive, um, secular private schools where maybe there's a cross hanging on the wall in the guidance counselor's office or something. That's what, that's what ends up happening. So they lose their identity as a Christian school. Obviously, when you start admitting people, teachers, students, when you, when you, when you stock the, um, the school up with, with people who have no interest in Christianity, it's not going to be a Christian school anymore. So that's why the Christian schools that are interested in actually remaining Christian schools, that's why they have these qualifications. I think the point is pretty clear here. If, if you are manifestly and in principle opposed to Christian morality, then obviously you don't belong at a Christian school. There are many other places you can go for your education. Nobody is stopping you from being educated. But you shouldn't go here.